Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the new to the US SAR SR38 357 Magnum revolver. This one has a six inch barrel along with the Rossi RP63 357 Magnum three inch barrel. It's important to note that both SAR and Rossi make other models that would be more comparable. For example, SAR makes a four inch model called the SR38 with a four inch model. And many of those have been out for a while, especially the blued models. You, you, you'll see those. They, they have been in the U.S. This one is very hard to find at this moment. And then Rossi makes a RM66 with a 6-inch barrel. Now, those would be more equal comparisons. However, I've had several requests of people asking, hey, just compare those as they are. We want to see the differences. So I'm trying to meet that need today. Let's start with the... SR38. The rubber grip is pretty cool. I like wood grips on stainless steel revolvers, but it certainly works. It does have finger grooves in there. Nice overall feel. Nice look to it as well. Love the full size revolvers. You know, the accuracy is so so nice and the and the the weight behind it just cuts down on that 357 Magnum recoil. This is a six shot 357 Magnum push forward cylinder release and the cylinder rotates counterclockwise the crane the ejector the cylinder release the trigger the hammer all look zero coded to me but they are black and the sights the rear sight is fully adjustable both windage and elevation i didn't have to do a thing by the way tall ramp sight full solid under lug so it's definitely heavy. It certainly cuts down on the recoil at the 357 Magnum. The single action trigger breaks right at four pounds. It is so nice. Double action, heavy. You have to use those finger muscles. You need hand strength for that. But the single action is so nice. There is no transfer bar safety. But there are internal safeties, most like many revolvers, Smith & Wesson, produces so no worries there a lot of people ask do you need to put a or keep an empty chamber in there and the answer is no you just don't right around 700 750 bucks is what it's showing for hopefully it'll show up in some of those retailer stores i, I don't know what the deal is with that but here we have the rp63 made by rossi so happy rossi's back in the game making revolvers this also shot great at the range i shot them on the same day and i just had a 357 magnum field day out there really enjoyed it it has a rubber grip there bumps there rossi emblem i really like the width of the trigger that is really wide i'm going to compare these in a bit three inch full under lug barrel shorter front sight tunneled rear sight push forward cylinder release six shot 357 magnum large large uh, real estate right there on the hammer and it has a firing pin on the hammer much like the original one i bought many years ago and so i think that's certainly cool once again no transfer bar safety and no reason to keep a chamber unloaded for safety purposes very nice revolver performed great at the range rossi is marketing the ccw people with this revolver all right they, they, they are looking not to add a bunch you know long grip a longer barrel with this model they're, they're looking for people who want to carry a revolver they don't want to deal with some of the magazine issues and jams and so forth with semi-auto handguns so that's what they're looking to do now the the single action trigger pull here measures right at six pounds but i will tell you that it doesn't feel that way it, my trigger scale is not lying to me. It's pretty accurate, but the width of that revolver is very nice. I think that cuts down on the 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 weight that it, the the felt weight of the trigger is much lighter than what the trigger scale is measuring at, in my opinion. But that single action trigger certainly is nice. I love single action triggers on revolvers. Both of these work just fine. Let's compare them now. We'll look at the the finish. More of a matte stainless finish with the SAR SR38 
compared to a little more shine with the Rossi RP63. The cylinders look similar, both rotate counterclockwise. Let's look at the hammers. The hammer on the right is a Rossi. It's much wider, so when you grip that, you just get a better feel for it. Adjustable sights, tunneled sights, as I mentioned, the RM66 made by Rossi has adjustable sights. And that one goes for the lower 600s, so at least MSRP. MSRP on this, by the way, 461. So the, both of these are priced very well. The grips, I'm going to go with the SAR. It's a full-size grip. Even though this is made for uh, CCW people, I think this grip is, is really nice. Now, the single-action trigger pull. Love them both. I, I, I don't know that I ever met, well, I have, but quality made single action revolvers, or I will say that the trigger pulls are typically really nice, but I like the SAR a little bit better. It just is so clean at four pounds. It really is. It is so nice. The shooting, and, then, and shall I say the reliability with both of these were great. I, I mentioned I shot these side by side at the range and both of the rounds fed and fired no problem well fed that's a semi-auto term correction there but they did they they worked great and everything was was fine the top strap we'll look at those okay so here we have the tunneled sight we can see the difference in the the shine i've got my light shining down there both are completely fine the by the way, if you go with this with the 4-inch model, the SR38, it's selling for in the mid-500s. This has an MSRP of 461, and it's currently selling for that. So that's uh, something worth considering. The Rosser, Rossi is less, whether it's this or the RM66, MSRP 621 on that. Trying not to be confusing. But overall, I think both look well. Pretty cool. They, they both shoot really nice and i enjoyed both of them for their intended purposes with the six inch barrel i'm going to say it's more accurate i think that's a fair statement it's kind of undisputed but this was really accurate for a three inch barrel i felt completely control in control with this revolver as i shot them both very nice looking revolvers i think the rossi looks a little cooler being a little smaller a little more shine to it i like the sight picture with the larger rear sight opposed to the tunneled sight but once again this is made for carry so that's the differences those are the differences we'll take a look before we wrap this up with the cylinder gap and we'll see that both are kind of equal they, they look they look to be the same too so you want to keep that thumb away when when firing to keep it clear of that cylinder gap that can uh possibly send it to the hospital depending on the load you have to adjust your grip for all those semi-auto shooters out there when shooting revolvers but these are two quality made revolvers happy to have them and hopefully those who wanted a comparison just got it and i enjoyed making this video if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe